Welcome Scorpio to your June reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for the month. And then I will go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Now, Scorpio, there are going to be quite a few messages coming through. If there is any particular message that comes through that doesn't resonate, just let it go by. However, if the reading as a whole doesn't resonate, it probably just means it's not meant to be your reading at this time and you can go ahead and watch your moon rising and Venus signs readings as they could have more relevant and more applicable insights and information. The first energy you're getting is happiness. What a lovely auspicious card. This tells us, Scorpio, that there's going to be some area in your life in June where you are going to be feeling this kind of happiness. Then you have number three, solar plex chakra. Now, solar plex chakra is everything to do with our sense of self, personal power and willpower. So we'll see what that's all about. You've got the energy use what you've got. It's an interesting energy and we will wait for the tarot to see what that's about. And then finally, you have Spirit Guide, which is also a lovely card to get. What this tells me, Scorpio, is in the month of June, there is a particular Spirit Guide who will be working with you in a certain area of your life. Now, Scorpio, with our core messages, there are times they relate to very individual and specific areas of your life. And then there are other times the messages are interlinked and we can even get one cohesive story. It just depends on how the reading plays out. I'm going to start off now by pulling a tarot card for each core message. And then we will come back around again and clarify even further to get deeper insight and deeper messages. So let's see what we have coming in for Scorpio this month. We've got the Page of Wands, the Four of Cups, Nine of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So we're going to start off here with happiness and the page of wands. And I'm just going to get your clarifier. So let's see what is this page of wands energy for Scorpio, please. Six of wands. Oh, what an energy. Scorpio, this is incredibly wonderful to see. What we see in June, there is something that's going to come up that's going to make you feel incredibly excited. It's the energy of starting something fresh, starting something new. This could be in any area of your life, but with the combination of this excitement to begin something, we've got it coming under happiness. And the kind of happiness we are seeing is the butterflies and birds and swirling rainbows. This is true, authentic happiness. Now, your clarifier is the Six of Wands. What it tells me, whatever this is, whatever area of your life, my dear Scorpios, be it a love connection, starting a new job, a new business, moving to a new home, relocating. It does not matter. The combination we are seeing here is the combination of pure happiness and success, victory. It tells me whatever this is for you, you go full steam ahead 
with this kind of energy. Give it all you've got, Scorpio, because it has the potential of bringing you such joy, such happiness, and it's going to be successful. So what a wonderful energy we are seeing as our first message. Let's move on now and see what this solar plex chakra energy is. And we've got the four of cups. Let's go ahead now and see what this four of cups energy is for you. Let's see now. What is this four of cups energy for Scorpio? The Empress. Wow. Okay. Right, Scorpio. What I'm seeing here could very well relate to what we have just spoken about. Or it could be in a separate area of your life. For my Scorpios who are feeling this Four of Cups energy in some area of your life. Now, Four of Cups, as you can see from that facial expression, is the energy of feeling bored, listless, been there, done that, same old, same old. When you are in this energy, Scorpio, we tend to focus on our empty cups, things that aren't going for us. Oh, look what I have to do every day. My job is so boring. Oh, I've got the same friends I've had for years. Nothing is exciting. We don't do anything new. I don't do anything different. And we focus on this energy. However, you are being told, Scorpio, that in June, there is the hand of God coming in with a cup. But if you focus on things that are not going and are not working for you, there is a possibility you are not going to see it. This cup that is brimming over with opportunity and abundance is very much connected to our Empress energy. And the Empress energy is all about untold abundance, fertility, creativity, giving birth to something we want to create. So it really could very well be connected to our Page of Wands energy. Please can you notice around the Page of Wands we have the yellow colouring. Around the Empress, we have the yellow colouring. And our solar plex chakra is the energy point that vibrates with the energy of yellow. If you remember, the solar plex chakra is all about your sense of self, personal power and your willpower. You, my dear Scorpios, in June, if you need to shift out of this energy, you're going to have to access and harness your personal power. Now, I know it's easier said than done. So what I would really recommend for my Scorpios who find themselves in this energy of really feeling nothing's happening for you, listless and quite bored with everything, is to ensure your solar plex chakra is activated. There are fantastic meditations on YouTube. Just Google solar plex chakra meditation and it really will ensure that this energy point is now vibrating because you want to now access and bring in this energy. The Empress is really confirming for us that you are able now to bring in something very, very specific to you. You are creating and bringing into being. And we saw this twice now. But it's something, my dear Scorpios, that brings in that kind of happiness and this kind of victory. So this is something you don't want to let slip by. So far, this is looking very good for you. Let's move on now and see what this Nine of Pentacles energy is that is sitting under Use What You've Got. Right, let's see now. What is this Nine of Pentacles energy for Scorpio, please? What 
is this nine of pentacles energy the sun look at your coloring my dear scorpio talk about a confirmation coming through in each message we are seeing scorpio you have got incredibly positive and powerful cards coming through so june is really holding this energy of excitement untapped possibility and underlying it is this happiness and this victory what i love to see here with this card use what you've got scorpio you have everything you need in order to bring this about do not doubt it this is why your solar plex chakra is coming through because this is the energy point you want vibrating at maximum capacity you need to believe that you are your best friend when it comes to this energy of beginning something like i said it could be in any area of your life with this energy you have got the 9 of pentacles which is another exceptionally positive card it speaks to us of financial emotional and spiritual independence and once again you've got the card of sheer pure happiness and joy something's happening here now i'm just going to give you a very simple example of what is happening here just say you are really wanting to meet somebody significant this could be a love connection a friendship but you want a soul connection first and foremost you are being told that june there is incredible possibility to bring this about it doesn't matter where you've been and what has happened in the past you have got a different energy coming in for you an energy that is going to be incredibly uplifting incredibly positive and incredibly rewarding this is not the time to doubt your capabilities this is not the time to think oh maybe i'm not ready maybe i need to go on a health kick maybe i need to have a new hairstyle maybe i need to buy new clothes before i get out there and mingle you are being told you've got everything you need to get out there and make this happen you are not in an energy of lack you might feel it in a certain area but with these energies coming through there's no lack here you are your true best friend you are your biggest asset use what you got sometimes my dear scorpios we don't realize our gifts and our talents until we put it out there go for it you have got everything you need and with this energy coming through my gosh there is something that is going to break through with this kind of light with this kind of positivity please be prepared for something wonderful to transpire this my dear scorpio is the energy i see for you this month you standing arms wide open and just receiving the light the joy and the happiness that the universe wants to shower you with this month right let's move on now and see what our king of cups energy is that is sitting under spirit guide right let's see now who or what is this king of cups energy for scorpio please let's see what we have here for you the knight of wands Scorpio this is such a beautiful energy and I really feel that all your core messages are very much connected and the biggest theme I'm seeing coming through here for you is about you receiving this energy of such pure happiness such pure wins and victories of acknowledging how unique and special you are and really opening yourself up to possibility 
You are presenting this month as the King of Cups. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. Now, King of Cups is a very mature, emotionally wise king. This is the king who understands his own emotions and he understands the emotions of those around him. This is the king, as you can see, with him channeling here with his Tibetan bowl, who is very much connected to divine. This spirit guide is working with you this month in terms of you finding, acknowledging and moving in an area that speaks to your heart. That is something that is very much connected to answering that flame deep inside. We have our page of wands at the beginning of our reading and we end off with our knight of wands. Can you look at that joy? And we've seen a lot of joy coming through all the time throughout your reading. This spirit guide is working with you in terms of you finding and acknowledging that deep flame and letting it shine, letting it come out, letting it come into being. This is the month where you acknowledge you're more than enough. You've got more than what it takes to bring about whatever this energy is for you. I feel that this is quite a pivotal month. I think you're going to take incredible steps forward into whatever this energy is for you and you're going to make great steps into finding and connecting your happiness and your success. Anything and everything is possible in this month, my dear Scorpios. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful month and I'm sending you all so much love.